Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about those super slow mogurts. And it's all bad news. Shout out goes to David Intratore for uh, contacting me about this. And uh, this is what created this tutorial. I thought uh, this was just all pretty much understood. And here's the issue. The issue is sometimes people drop in a, a Mogurt into Premiere Pro and it's wicked slow. We're talking doesn't even play and you have to wait several seconds, if not a minute before it even plays. And an old dog like me just knows that, well, that's an After Effects file and After Effects is slow. But if you're a video editor and you're used to real-time editing and you're used to After Effects files being exported as a video that plays back in real time, the first time you experience an incredibly complex layered After Effects file in the Premiere Pro timeline, it will be very confusing. So uh, let me drop one in and I'll show it to you and, and show you how you can know if some, because here's the thing, Adobe and, and the whole industry at large, they don't differentiate between, oh, this is an After Effects Mogurt, this is a Premiere Pro Mogurt. They're completely different. After Effects Mogurts are actual full ass, big ass After Effects projects in a container. Premiere Pro uh, Mogurts are just Premiere Pro stuff like texts and shapes that just move around and they're usually real time. Um, they're almost always, everything I make is, is a, a, a Mogurt in uh, Premiere Pro and they're fast. So let's go in and have a look. So I'll go to the graphics workspace and browse into Adobe stock. And anytime you see anything with like this, particles, blurs, all of this kind of trippy stuff, smoke, particles, stuff you wouldn't imagine like this. There's no way you're gonna do that in Premiere Pro. Every single one of those is, in fact, I would believe every single thing in that list is an After Effects Mogurt, meaning it's gonna have massive overhead. That doesn't mean it's not usable. It just means you have to set your expectations. And by the way, you can drop that into the timeline and render it and you're done with it. Uh, but most people want to interactively work with it. Now, let me just show you um, my templates, just so you have something uh, as an example. Um, let me just go to my, uh, here's a bunch of rising hearts. Look at this. Ooh, bunch of hearts, plays back in real time. No problem when you click on it. You can see there's a whole whack of layers that I created and animated. And I keyframed, if we go to the effects controls, there's a lot of keyframes there. But because these are, are Premiere Pro graphics objects, and they don't require After Effects in the background, they just play automatically. So I, I wanna see if I can trigger this. What's happening is, usually Premiere Pro can't play everything in the Mogurt, so it has to run a separate version of After Effects known as Dynamic Link. You've probably heard that. Dynamic Link is a full version of After Effects without the interface. They call it a headless version of, of After Effects. You basically don't see anything, but it is still running in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll also see in the project panel, you'll see an After Effects comp show up. Notice nothing showed up when I used my Moger. I'll drag this in. I know this is an After Effects Moger. Watch what happens when I drag it in. First of all, it has a load screen. And next thing you'll notice down here in the bottom left, there is an After Effects comp. You'll notice the red line. And when I place the, uh, put the playhead on, I can't even see this. And this is the cut, and here I get a spinning hourglass as we're waiting to render this in the background. We're, Dynamic Link is working hard to send frames to Premiere Pro. Oh, there we finally go. Can we play this? 
absolutely not. It's an After Effects big ass animation. And I'm on a really fast Dell Precision laptop, and it's nothing. That's how, that's just typical of, an, of a very complex After Effects comp in a Premiere Pro timeline. It finally changes, and it, one of the benefits of working in this mode is that I could change things. Right? So I change it here, that part updated, but if I tried to hit play again, it's not going to work. I could render this out. And none of this means that, that AE Mogerts are, are unusable. It just means set your expectations. If you're used to working with giant After Effects comps, then this is just normal. If you're a real-time editor, get ready for a lot of pain because that's how freaking slow After Effects is. I want to open this Mogert in After Effects. Yes, you can open these AE Mogerts right back into After Effects and show you how complicated this thing is. There it is right there. I'll open that. Because after Effects needs to extract it. So let, let's, let's look at just what this thing is. Why is it so complicated? That is the main comp. Every single one of these is a freaking comp. So that's a, each of, <laughs> this comp is another two comps. This one is another comp. So on and on and on. That's how complicated this is. The whole background that's going on. So everything is editable and live here. And that's why this After Effects comp is so freaking slow in Premiere Pro. Just because it's a Mogert doesn't mean it's going to make After Effects faster. After Effects with very complicated comps like this is just slow. If you're used to After Effects, this is just normal. It's A lot of it is CPU based. More of it is becoming GPU accelerated, but a lot of it has to depend on the CPU power. So if you've got a slow laptop that edits uh, HD video, okay, it's going to be brought to a crawl. This is a workhorse uh, laptop that I've got, a, a Dell Precision uh, laptop that has tons of power and it can't even play. Uh, I would have to render and render and preview this stuff all the time. So there you go, David. I explained this to you before an email when you reached out to me, but this is all expected behavior. So when you're buying these um, Mogerts from all of these services out there that show you rendered uh, playback and they oversell these things big time. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're amazing. They're going to make your stuff look better, but just get ready to render, 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 render in the timeline. Uh, and you can render and replace in the timeline. I've got a tutorial at the end to show you how to do it. So there you go. Bad news all the way around. I'm not going to make After Effects any faster. But hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, then take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more and get some of those cool um, uh, Premiere Pro Mogerts that I make. Then you can join us on videoreveal.com on our shop. And there you can download a whole bunch of free stuff. Uh, you can donate once or monthly, any amount you want, and show us your uh, care and support for what we're doing here. We really do appreciate it. We really appreciate all of our uh, regular supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. And unfortunately, it's, it's my job 
to show you the bad news, but more importantly, to set expectations to know what you're getting into.